It's amazing that there's so many songs about limits. Okay. Okay. You guys can put the Chromebook screens down. We don't need them for a little bit. All we need is the calculators right now. Okay. It's go do you, What do you think? Me? Why do you think it's going to be a quick lesson? Yeah, not like twenty, right? We talked about how AP calculus was easier than math analysis, right? Okay. So here's the deal. We're easing ourselves into this today. This is our first official day of actual calculus work. Okay. All right. I know. Exciting. Um, so the uh, the thing is that we do things in here three different ways. Okay. Always. So we tend to do things numerically. You don't need to write this down. That means with numbers. So today we're going to do with numbers. Okay. Then we do things graphically which means with graphs, right? It's going to be something with pictures, OK? Pictures. And then we do things what we call analytically. This is basically with your algebra steps, OK? Algebra steps. So that's so we will do this limit stuff. Everybody got on one of the club sheets, OK? All right. All right. So uh, those are the three things. So today we're going to talk numerically. All right. So let's first of all start to kind of talk about, we're going to talk more about the definition of a limit probably tomorrow. Okay. But basically what we're going to try to do is prove that we get really, really close to, to a y value on either side. Okay. Um, but we don't actually, we may not actually touch it. That's basically what a limit is, is what y value do we get close to? I've got another list over here. I passed one oh. on the side of the room. Thank you. All right, so here we go. What I want you to do is I want everybody to type this into their calculator under the, under the graph, okay? So everybody's typing, I'm going to type it too, okay? You can't wait for Calculus Club? All right. Just make sure you help raise a lot of money. Okay, so I'm going to go in here to my scratch pad. And remember, you can hit a control divide. That gets you a fraction. X to the third minus one. That one not working. Okay. Yeah, I don't have you guys logged in yet. So. We're going to hit enter. So that's what the picture ends up looking like. We don't really care too much about the picture. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to this calculator page, and we did this on your test yesterday, okay? And we're going to solve for all those numbers in the table. So the first number was 0.75, right? We're going to do var f1. Aren't we glad we don't have to type that function a million times? 0.75. Enter. And then I want you to write that number in your ta table. Three decimal places. So 2.312. Remember, you can truncate it. You don't have to round. All right, I'm going to do it again. Var, F1, and you're going to do 0.9. We're going to talk about what it means in a minute. Right now, we're just filling in a table. Okay? And again, that one only had two decimal places. All right? And then we're going to do var, F1, of 0.99. And var f1 of 0.999. And I'll explain what it means here in a minute. Okay? I got those ones done. I want we're gonna skip one. Actually, let's try one, see what happens. Var f1 of one. 
Undefined, okay, because there wasn't, there was probably, I showed you a picture of it, there was a hole in the graph there, okay? All right, so I want you to keep going. Keep filling in the table. I'm going to start writing those ones in, okay? So you keep keep on cranking on the calculator and filling the table, and then we're going to talk about what this limit means, okay? Uh, just cut it off, truncate it. Okay, you can just write three decimal places on the table. That's fine. Two point three one two. Okay. So what'd you get for the 1.001? Good. Okay, what about the next one? 1.01. 3.030. Okay, the 1.1. Good. And the 1.25. Good. Okay, so here's how I want you to look at this chart or this table. Okay? As we are going from this way in. On the x values, I'm getting closer and closer and closer to 1. This way, I'm going down, getting closer and closer and closer to 1. All right? Now, look at these x, uh, the y values. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to what number here? What would this round to? 3. What about going this way? I'm getting closer and closer and closer to 3. So because I'm getting closer and closer and closer to the same thing on both sides, I know that the limit of this thing is 3. So let's, we would write down, notice that there's kind of a blank, there's a, it's written below there. I know I've got it on a couple different screens. Let me talk about what this notation means though, okay? So the way that this reads here, and you might want to write this down, I know we've got a lot of space today, is the limit as x approaches 1. So see how it's got the arrow? The arrow means approaches. Okay, so it's the limit, and we put a little a, a script underneath it as x approaches 1. So if I get my x value gets closer and closer to 1, I know that limit gets closer and closer and closer to 3. Might not equal 3, but it's closer and closer and closer. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Okay, so um, I want you to type this one in here. Okay, so everybody type that into. You can do a doc B to clear. Remember that little trick? I'm going to do a doc B and clear it. And I'm going to go and type that function in. So everybody's typing in your function. Oops, not minus. I hit the wrong button. There we go. All right, so really quickly before I have you let, loose, let you loose on it, why are they choosing values that, go to, they, that approach 2? What does the limit want us to be? 2. two. two. So that's why they're choosing those values. So the, when you choose values in your table, you choose some that are just below the number and some that are just above the number. But notice how we're getting closer and closer and closer by making that decimal point go out further and further and further. All right, so I want everybody to plug in these three numbers and these three numbers. So I'm going to give you a minute. Everybody plug them in. So everybody's trying it, and then see if you can figure out what the limit is.
jam that Okay. You need the same number twice, right? Huh? In theory, yes, you need the same number twice. All right, what do we get for 1.99? Good. What about the next one? No, same number. Find your paper. Yeah. What happens if it's the same number? It's uh, yeah. 2.001 twice. Oh. On the paper, is it typed wrong? Oh. Sorry. One of them should have an extra. This, lot, this one here should have an extra zero. i got to fix that. Okay. So make sure there's an extra zero in that one. So try it again with the extra zero real quick. I'll be your lazy robot. All right, what do we get? Yeah, 0. 0.600 for all of them. So what would we say that the limit is approaching? No. What's the decimal point going on here? 0. 0.6, right, would be what the limit is approaching. Okay, because this one here would round to 0. 0.6, wouldn't it? Yeah. And this one here would round to 0. 0.6. So as long as they're rounding the same thing, that's what the limit is approaching. Okay? That's it. That's the whole lesson today. Can we handle it? All right. Write that homework assignment down somewhere. You can just write it at the bottom of your notes if you want. And then I want you to turn on haiku. So you want to take the advantage of the fact that we're, I have this done for the most part for you in class, right? Yes. And